What will our bomb demon do? Still, he's watering all the plants, even though they're dead. She's just doing it for fun. It's a really nice 26 degrees today in Motagua, central Portugal. How's the watering going? I think that one's probably had enough. No? I think it needs more, do you? We spent most of the morning working today. Our website was offline for maintenance. And then we went out for a bit. We needed to do some shopping anyway. But while we were there, we decided to go for a little stroll down the Mortagua walkways. And we just parked up in the other end of the village. It's really sunny, nice blue skies. We're trying to take advantage of this sunny weather while it's still lasting. We're realizing now that mid-September, it's not gonna be long before it starts getting cold here in Portugal again. So any opportunity when the weather's not too hot, we'll go for a little walk, get story outdoors, make the most of it. It's always nice to get down to that side of the village, see the different types of homes there. I'm really glad they made those walkways because it gives you access to parts of the area that you probably wouldn't think you could walk down. We were probably walking for about 30 minutes and we eventually came upon a abandoned house. I'm not sure who it belongs to or if it belongs to anybody, but I had a look around it. I always like to look inside these old buildings, see if there's any interesting things there. But this one was just an empty shell. A bit of graffiti and that's it. Now we're home, we finished all the shopping. Sasha's just unpacking the bags with Story upstairs. How is that unpacking going? Oh, where is she? She's undoing your toothbrush. Oh. Story has been especially excited about this. Whoa! Yay. Look at that, she took it straight <laughs> away. She chose them for you, Eden. She knew you'd like those. No messing about. Okay. You're very familiar with those treats, aren't you? Story's doing baking before bed, isn't she? Yes! We're mixing your yogurts together, aren't we? To make it dairy free. Dairy free yogurt. Story loves baking. Wow! Uh oh! It's okay, we get another spoon. Someone's come over again, haven't they? <laughs> to be honest, Eden, you wouldn't eat any of this stuff. You're very fussy. It's now six o'clock in the evening and it's way too bright outside to try and send Story to bed. We've been trying to send her to bed earlier again, but it's just not working when it's this bright out. I think maybe when it gets closer to winter time and the nights get shorter, she'll start going to bed earlier again. Or maybe this is just her new time. It's beautiful out here tonight. Look at those clouds. Got some beautiful light coming over the hills there too. I'm just standing here, remembering the day we first arrived in this house. We were standing by this window here, sunlight beaming through, we had some fruits over there, and we were talking about what it was going to be like when the baby was here. And now here she is, standing up at the top, baking cookies with mummy. Yeah, I saw her do a little wiggle. Yeah, you're eating the mix. Oh, you got a fly on your face. Just think story, at the time we had no idea what you were going to look like, what you are going to be like and here you are eating dark chocolate. Make sure the chocolate goes in and not all in story's mouth. Yeah. We need those chips for our muffins. What are you doing? It's for our muffins. Now Story is making us a coffee, but this is actually a distraction because I need to get outside without her seeing me. <laughs> when we were out for our walk this morning, I found a really beautiful leaf that was attached to a grapevine and I wanted to take it upstairs and put it through our scanner and see how it looks. I might be able to turn it into a design of some kind. I left it on the dashboard now, it's gone a bit crispy. Let's have a look at it. Oh no. That was silly of me. Let's try wetting it. I actually think this one is beyond saving now, so I'm going to have to see if I can find another one. I'm just going to take the rubbish down to the rubbish bin. Maybe I'll see something on the way. I'm 
just doing a bit of exploring, seeing if I can find a replacement for that leaf. There's quite a few candidates around here to be honest. I already turned the tilia leaf from the end of our tree into a necklace design which looks really nice. I'm going to do more with that. I just want to see what else we can find here. That looks pretty cool. Let's see. That would look pretty cool. It's a bit like a Canadian maple leaf. Pretty flower. I wonder what that is. If it's just a weed or something. Home sweet home. Let's scan the leaf. I can smell coffee. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Who wrote that? Was it Mummy or was it Story? Hello. It was Mummy. Oh, I take the credit. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, you can do bush bush. Where is your bush bush? Bye bye. Yeah. time for your bed, bye -bye. isn't it, Story? Bye bye. Look at her hair. It looks lighter. Those curls. They look like a little bit ready, coppery. Get in the sink. What are you doing? You ready for bed yet? Yeah? Ready for bed so we can start preparing for our evening? Mm, your bears. Oh goodness. What do you want? Cars. Cars? You watch Cars every day, Story. Cars. Yeah? Let's see. Sorry. Bed. It's bedtime. Now, the bears have to go to sleep now. Story's now in bed, so I'm going to start preparing one of these pizzas. When I was in Lidl the other day, I went to see if they had any more and they're still sold out. So I don't know if they're just not going to get them back in again, which is a shame because they're really good. I'm glad that we bought them when we did. While that's cooking, I want to show you this. We've been taking some lovely pictures recently. This is a shot from our recent trip to Loza that we took on the weekend vlog. For those of you that don't know us very well, we used to be wedding photographers and this was the style that we used to try and go for when we were doing couple shots. I've been waiting for Story to get to an age where she can stand on her own two feet and we can take pictures like this properly. When I first imagined having a daughter, these are the kind of shots I was thinking of, flowing dresses and being basically just epic shots. This is, I love taking pictures like this. For those of you that follow us on Instagram, you've probably seen this picture already had a really good reaction, everybody really loved it. And I have another one here, this one, that I want to share as well, which will be going on Instagram. You'll probably be on there already by the time you see this video. And there's a couple more that I haven't finished editing yet that are going to look really nice when they're done. It was really fun taking those pictures, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was hectic. Yeah. I guess it's fun getting the pictures yeah. afterwards, but it's taking nice them. back on them. Yeah, it's worth it in the end. Yeah. yeah. You were there, weren't you, Eden? You're in yes, one of the shots. Part of the hecticness. <laughs> I was in one of the shots. <laughs> so if you want to see all of these pictures shared, consider going over to Instagram and following us on Eight Miles from Home. And also, my account is Tiny Moments Everywhere. We've been sharing quite a lot of pictures on there over the years, and it's a nice way to kind of look back over time and see how stories grown and how we've grown as as a unit, really, as a family. It's good fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, I miss photography a bit. Yeah, when you see them like this. I do as well. Yeah. Oh, this, we're not doing it enough. Yeah. <laughs> but then we take movies every day. I so. know. It's not the same though, is it? A no. cinematic, lovely picture, wor a framing worthy shot yeah. isn't the same as a vlog. I'm just going to go outside and get those rocket leaves. A couple of stragglers here that have grown up that we might be able to eat tonight. Not much of a bouncy today, but if we mix it with the spinach leaves we've got, it should be enough. There we go, looking pretty good as a side serving there along with the pizza, which is still in the oven. Ready now though. Yum, looking forward to this. Dory, do you want to see something really cool? You really can't get the scale of it. When you see these things from far away, you don't really realise how huge they are. 
Oil is heavy, well done. Have you seen it? <laughs> Look at the speed. That's where Story's running towards. The ultimate swing swing in the mountains. <laughs>